Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Investigation. And in today's episode of Investigation, I'll go over 2021 Fall AMC 10B number 19. So in this problem, it states let m be the positive integer 313 digit number where each digit is a 7. Let f of r be the leading digit of the rth root of m. And it wants us to find the value of f2 plus f of 3 plus f of 4 plus f of 5 plus f of 6. Now if we think about it, if we say, let's say um, if we have the number 27. If we divide that number by 10, we get the number 2.7. The leading digit of that uh, 27 is 2. The leading digit of 2.7 is also 2. So in base 10, if we want to div if we divide some number by 10, the leading digit doesn't change. And same thing applies for uh, if we divide that by 100. If we divide by 27 by 100, 0.27. Although it seems like, oh, well, maybe the leading digit becomes 0 now. But actually, the leading digit becomes 2. Now we just have to reduce the number to something that is computable. So we don't want to do it until it goes to like 0 point something something. Um, it is perfectly fine for us to uh, consider it at when it is between 0 and 10. Now let's first consider uh, f of 2. Now, we want to do 777 dot 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 777 and that square root. As I've said, we want to find the leading digit of this. So we can basically divide that by 10 and find the leading digit of that. That does not change. But, however, it's still really hard to find the leading digit of that. Now, if we just divide by something, 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 then if we put it inside of the square root, it is going to be that squared. So if I divide it by 10, on the inside, it is going to be divided by 100. So divide by 100, and now we have 777 dot 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 777, and there's only 311 sevens, and there's a decimal point dot 77, and the square root of that. We can continue eliminate all of that and until we get 7.777 dot 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 dot. We don't care how many sevens are there, they're insignificant. And because we are eliminating two sevens every time, we will get one seven at the end. Now we just have to do what is the leading digit of that? Well, that is between the square root of 4 and the square root of 9, which means that the leading digit of that is going to be a 2. Because it exceeds 2 by a little bit, but it has not reached 3 yet. Similarly, if we do f of 3, then we do 777 dot dot 777 divided by 1000 because if we have the cube root, if we put 10 inside of a cube root, it becomes dividing by 1000. And each time we're moving the decimal point forward by three uh, decimal points. So uh, we initially start with 313 of those. We would end up with, well, just one. So 7.777 dot 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 seven. So we repeat that process that many times, 104 times. We divide by 10, 104 times, and we would get this number. And this number uh, is going to be between the cube root of the 1 and the cube root of 8, which means that the leading digit of the cube root is going to be a 1. Now let's consider the fourth root. Well, if we have the fourth root, similarly, we can do really the same thing. The fourth root, 777, 777. Just one thing that got to change is the denominator. The denominator is 10,000 now. 
and then we have 313 each time, and we remove 4 each time, so the remainder when this number is divided by 4 does not change. So we can remove 312 of those because you see 12 is divisible by 4, so 312 is divisible by 4. In fact, it, I believe it is uh, 78. Which means that if we do this action 78 times, we would get the fourth root of 7, 0.777, dot, 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 7. And it is going to be between the fourth root of 1 and the fourth root of 16, which means that f of 4 is also equal to 1. Now let's consider f of 5. f of 5, we have the uh, fifth root of 7, 7, dot, 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 7, 7, divided by, now inside there is five zeros, because we're dividing by five, and we, uh, when bringing it inside of the root, we uh, raise it to the fifth power, so we get 10 to the fifth power, which means that there are five zeros behind, and 313. Now we need to keep in mind, in this case, we only we can only do it a limited number of times, and the number of sevens mod five does not change. So after certain number of uh, moves, after uh, exactly sixty two moves, we would get three sevens. So we get seven 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 dot da 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 and what do we find of that? Well seven 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 now we actually need to do a bit of math for that. So it is between two forty three uh the fifth root of two forty three which is three to the fifth and the uh the four to the fifth which is uh I believe 1024, so that uh, our answer is going to be 3 for f of 5. Now, how about f of 6? Well, f of 6, that is going to be the sixth root of this giant number divided by, now we have six zeros uh, behind it. And if we have 313. Now, remember that the mod does not change. So if we have 312, 312 is both divisible by 2 and divisible by 3, which means that 312 is divisible by 6. And in fact, it is 52 times that. So if we divide that result number by 10 to the 52, we will get 1, 7 left. So we would have 7.777 dot dot dot. And obviously we don't need to do a lot of math here. We can just do the sixth root of one between sixth root of one. And you know, that's greater, but we might as well calculate it. it's uh, 60, uh, the sixth root of 64. So f of six is equal to one. Now we just have to sum up all of these numbers f of 2 is 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 1, and that gives us 8, which is our answer choice A. Thank you for watching this episode of Interstigation, and I'll catch you later in the next episode where we go over uh, number 20 from this problem set, and it is going to be really exciting, and we're finally almost getting into the final five problems and as always good luck on your ap exams and final exams if you are watching this right after the uh, video release but if not i hope you have a great day goodbye <laughs>